Patrick Chanley. Hello at ptlarts.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about three ways to optimize your power to sell artwork online. <coughs> Number one, it's more than a tip, it's like a lifestyle. Build content. So build content, everything connected to the work that you make, all the work you make, how you've got there, what you do, everything to do with the people that you know, your passion for it, your passion for other people's work, your, your whole connection, your enthusiasm, your passion for whatever work you do, whatever artwork you make. Why do you love it so much? Why do you find it difficult sometimes? All of those stories is what builds this connection with other people. So build content. So you can do blogs, you can do stuff on Instagram, you can use any of the social medias. I suggest one really great way, a couple of really great ways to get going. I've been doing over the last year like Facebook Live. Facebook Live painting for me has been fantastic. It just accelerates everything. And um, when I look back at the ones when I started, I was like full of nervous energy rather than passion. And um, I was trying to rush around to do as much as possible because I thought people would get bored. Not that anybody was particularly watching. But gradually over time now I'm much more comfortable doing it and that's the truth nobody feels comfortable when you start like talking on a video so Facebook live even do it on your phone talk in your phone about your ideas and everything put it onto Facebook get that muscle moving and so now like I'm um, becomes gradually as you get going it can um, become more uh, focused, exactly. Had to think about that one. So it's not what you say when you're doing these videos, it's, it's how you say it. In other words, it's not, not actually the words that matter. You know, you don't need a very scripted piece of work but it's the passion inside that you feel. So it's like be prepared, whatever it is that you do. If, if you've got, you know, some disciplines that you do, for example, I chant, I, I practice Buddhism and I chant. So that really helps me prepare for when I'm gonna talk on the video. Maybe you're into physical exercise, maybe you're into swimming, maybe you're into like going for long walks, any of those things um yoga whatever it is have a go at that before you start to talk so that you're like giving the best of yourself really so like your energy your flow rate is really going full pelt because that has actually becomes like magnetic so that's number one it comes with practice it's not immediate, but definitely video is a great way forward, especially for visual artists, I believe. So display your potential through blog posts on all the social media there. It's like a no brainer. Just get it out there. Get it on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, everywhere you can when you're doing facebook live have some of your work there show people your work talk about the different bits of your work while you're working just take every opportunity because it's like familiarity and it's building your brand so display your potential display what you do display your work use all platforms Get decent scans of your work and photographs of your work, which if you haven't done that, do that already so that they really do ping and they really look great on these social media platforms. And you can try it out. If you get likes, I find when I put them out, if I get 
a lot of lights very quickly, there's a good chance the image I've got is going to be fairly it's a good it's a good runner. Of course, we know with art, there's like um, this whole thing about being in the company of it, and that is really really important. Um, so again, display your potential, get, get it out there, get exhibitions, have exhibitions, start to plan them in. Once you've planned one in, say like for June, get a date for June, it really accelerates your getting your work together, all tidied up, getting decent pictures taken of it, and all the time documenting that with your blog posts, with your um, with all your blog posts, you can even include it on to YouTube about preparing for this project, etc., etc. So three, share your work, and when that comes back again, to your story. Keep telling your story. Yes, I know. I've been keep telling my story, and it can get really boring when you're talking into a camera and there's nobody there. But just keep doing it because you become more and more clear about what it is you're doing and why you're doing it. So that's my three ways to optimize your power to sell work online. Build content, take the leap, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Zoom, upload to YouTube, share your YouTube on Facebook, do Instagram short Instagram shorts about where you're at, what you're feeling. Start to think about your brand and start to think about your, you know, how that all looks between the different platforms. So number two, display your potential. And three, share your work. Your story is important. So good luck and I'll be doing more videos. Thumbs up if you like what I'm talking about, thumbs down if not as usual, either or with a comment, anything you'd like to add, ask questions about. I'm really, really happy to start a dialogue about it. So thank you very much.